Hi everyone, I'm Shantara Chapman, president of Power Consulting, here with another installment of Ally in Action. Today, we're talking about creating respectful workplaces. But first, our quote. MK Sony says, respect out of fear is no respect. So what is a respectful workplace? A respectful workplace is one in which integrity and professionalism are displayed and the skills to communicate and recognize one another are practiced. A respectful organization promotes diversity, encourages dialogue, and insists on civility from all employees, no matter their position. In a respectful workplace, employees are significantly more engaged. Conversely, in an organization with little or no respect, there are more conflicts, lower attendance, and decreased productivity. According to a Harvard Business Review study of more than 20,000 employees, the number one way to improve engagement and commitment to an organization is to have leaders demonstrate respect. In fact, employee satisfaction and customer satisfaction go hand in hand. One survey found that 25% of employees admitted to taking their frustration out on their customers. Of course, every workplace is unique. However, there are many ways in which organizations can establish a respectful workplace. I'm going to share three ways with you now. Number one, define your culture. The first step in creating a respectful workplace is to define it. Your organization's senior leaders must determine your organization's core values, value behaviors, and engagement levels. They must also determine what is not tolerated. Number two, lead by example. Employees model their behaviors after their leaders. Leaders within your organization need to model and encourage the behaviors they seek to implement. This includes taking action when inappropriate conduct occurs. And finally, number three, practice diversity and inclusivity in your hiring practices. One of the most important ways an organization can foster a respectful workplace is by hiring employees from diverse backgrounds. A diverse workforce represents varied age groups, cultures, religions, sexual orientations, social economic levels, and education levels, among other attributes. Organizations should also consider flexible schedules, which can attract employees with family obligations, such as children or older parents. A respectful workplace is a necessity for top performing organizations. It leads to happy, healthier, and less stressed employees, which in turn drives productivity and improves the organization's bottom line. By not fostering a civil work environment, organizations risk falling behind in today's rapidly changing business environment. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this information valuable. If you have questions about the content of this video or any other questions about fostering a respectful workplace culture, feel free to reach out to me at shantara at powherconsulting.com. Have a great week. Bye.